round of introductions, Malar. So we have uh, Malar Sate, All India Rank 68 for CLAT 2021, a CL Pune student. So to start off with Malar, how do you really feel after achieving such a great feat? Well, I certainly feel delighted. I feel honored and uh, most of all humble uh, in order to have the privilege to study the best law school of India. And uh, I can uh, personally commend uh, how great of a privilege that is, uh, having been attending their orientation lectures uh, for a week now. Uh, and every day I get to tell myself that I'm doing this with a cause, with a purpose, and uh, most of all, a reward the preparation that I did. So congratulations for securing an admission in uh, NLSIU and in Bangalore. And I think that was one of your dream to be a part of it, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So congratulations from our end. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, before we even like come on to the law and the your your future journey with Bangalore. Mm-hmm. In, in your reality, in, in, in your current uh, situation, if I have to ask you, like at what point of time in your life did you actually decide to take up law as a career? Sir, it's very um, interesting that, you know, when I was preparing, I was preparing with the anticipation that somebody would ask me this question after my preparation. <laughs> and I, I, I had uh, kept my answer ready uh, since, you know, I don't know how many months. Uh, but uh, it's a very interesting story that, uh, you know, in uh, May, June of 2020, just uh, during the high noon of the pandemic, uh, so I was really bored and uh, so I was organizing a Model United Nations conference online. So I had a team of my friends and we were doing everything together. Um, and uh, after a while, uh, one of my friends who was a third year law student um, in Ferguson College, so, you know, uh, she just came up to me uh, while we were on a call. So what happened was some people stole our copyrights of our logo. And, uh, you know, we called them and we asked them, why did they do that? And then I I had no knowledge of law. I didn't know what copyright was, but I was just talking to them like I knew everything about law. I was, I, I don't know what I was doing, but after the call, she said that, listen, why don't you take up law? You can make millions out of it. She just said it jokingly. And I said, well, I hadn't thought of that like in this way before, but sure, I mean, you know, why don't I give it a try? So I asked, well, how do you go about it? Like what what must one do to become a lawyer? He said, well, you can do law from anywhere, but if you want to become a good lawyer, you know, go to NLUs, go to good colleges. So she forwarded me CL's number. She's an ex-CL student. So that's how I connected with Career Launcher. And uh, I joined the online course in June. I said, well, there's no harm. It's online itself. I have to sit at home, basically attend classes. So let's give it a try. Uh, that's how I came here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Malar, uh, what was the most difficult section for you? And how did you tackle it? Well, I would be repeating every law student's woe that is math. Um, and well, that section wasn't difficult for me, but it certainly was challenging. That, you know, uh, being a humanities student myself in Ferguson College, 11th and 12th, I had given up on math in 10th grade itself. And I'm like, I'm done with the subject for life, but you know, I again came back and I took it up as a challenge. Um, and uh, I took uh, help also, uh, CL um, uh, did a stupendous job at that. And I made sure that I practiced uh, consistently and, you know, I didn't let that one section vitiate all my other sections. So the morale had to be kept up. Mm -hmm. In that case, uh, Manlar, if we have to ask you for our uh, current 2020 and 2023 aspirants, uh, how did you actually study? Tell us, how was your uh, preparation towards studying for the well, I wouldn't call it studying. It was more like a celebration. 
it was a celebration of everything that i learned new because the best part about law and the best part about law preparation is that you learn at least five new things every day and that's what i did i mean beat cl online classes beat my own personal reading the field is so vast that it sits at the fulcrum of social sciences and um, all the humanities so it covers a very broad area of subjects so right from reading philosophy to you know torts to um, let's say some very recondite material that i hadn't uh, read before so that you know always taught me new things every day and i really enjoyed the process i'm not going to lie and uh, i still continue to do that and actually that is a habit that i installed that helps me right now in law school as well you know sitting in one place and researching for hours on end and that is exactly what's required for clat because you basically have to read and read and understand more importantly so i think the aspirants of 2022 2023 might be that to inculcate the habit of intuitive reading that not just reading but asking yourself what are you reading uh, the main idea questions that you get in clad you know the inference and all sorts of those things so make the process intuitive that's what i would suggest them okay in this entire journey at any point of time did you feel that you won't be able to make it and and if it's so then how did you make a comeback in yeah i mean it's quite an interesting question but i i did have a lot of pitfalls and the most recent pitfalls i remember was 4th of july 4th of july 2021 like 3 weeks before clat i remember it was a sunday i went up to my dad i said listen i am stagnant in my preparation i've been you know scoring more or less the same in my you know five six mocks now and then i'm really tired because you know they've been postponing clat two times they did that and now i just want a vacation i want to do nothing now uh, but then he just said to me that you know if you've been preparing for the last 10 11 months you won't get any vindication if you just give up right now i mean what is the purpose that you were you, you were preparing for so uh, he said that listen um, you've been preparing just give the exam with no um, it's not a question of life and death so whatever the outcome is just go to the exam hall give your best and whatever the outcome is we'll deal with it so uh, this kind of an approach is really necessary especially during the dark moments during the low moments of your preparation where students think that clat is a life and death question well it's not there are so many things you can do if you don't crack this exam and i don't think it's an enigma to crack because if you're honest with your preparation and if you have a versatile personality and if you don't let this exam consume you as a person if you continue with your hobbies your extra reading with your sports i think the balance can get you where you want uh malar uh, in your final clat exam what is the strategy that you adopted while giving the exam Okay, strategy as in the mock uh, sequence. I mean, the section yeah. sequence. Yeah. While what? giving the paper, which uh, which questions you attempted first, or how did you shortlist which section you chose last or in the middle? Right. So uh, during the entirety of my preparation, I made sure that during the mocks, I tried every permutation and combination of the of all the sections. So at okay. the end, I could authoritatively say that okay, this this works out for me. because i i i see a lot of students even like two days before clat they're asking sir which section should i do first which section should i do last i think it's a very personal choice that you have to make and the choice that i made for my own mock was that first i used to do my um in uh, for gk section first yeah i remember gk section first for a very simple reason that when you're giving the clat mock you to put your roll number you to circle those things so that takes up a lot of your time and my thinking was that you know when i do gk first uh, i don't have to you know concentrate like i'm reading in gk i just see the question i know the answer fact you just circle that so you know it just uh, phases you in into the exam or very smoothly phases you in so first i used to do gk after which i used to do english uh, english ke baad i used to do legal and after legal i did math um, and last i did logic 
uh, you know uh, i remember during uh, on the eve of clat like the night before clat i was really concerned about the fact that i kept logic last because my last mock that i gave before clat i got really low in logic because i ran out of time and i was really scared that if i keep logic last and if i don't get much in logic then while well, the paper would be screwed then but incidentally i kept confidence and i maintained the sequence and i got the highest marks in logic so i think 27 odd marks so uh, if i were to give an advice to any aspirant is that please trust your own sequence and please keep that sequence intact don't change it because your friends are doing something else but because you have tried and tested it and you repose faith in it okay and also uh... How was the journey with CL with Taglonjo Pune? How, how how did you find CL uh, helping you out with your preparation? Well, um, I was enrolled for the classroom uh, the the classroom batch online classroom batch of CL. Uh, so what it ensured was every alternate day in the very beginning, and I enrolled for the booster batch later. So every day later, it used to uh, you know keep you in the loop. So even if you didn't want to study for one day. I mean, you just logged in into the class, and people, you know, you got a lot of information passively, even if you weren't paying attention. But don't do that. Please actively participate in class. And I made sure that, be it legal class or any class, I made sure that I participated in class and, you know, kept the process two way. So I not only learned something from it, I ensured that I, after the class, did the CL sheets as well. So uh, it kind of just locked my preparation from both ends and made sure that I was completely in the loop um, throughout the process. And Malar, what was the significance of giving mocks? Oh yeah, I mean the significance of do giving mocks is like shadow practice of cricket. I mean, if you don't do that, then uh, you're just uh, a victim of overconfidence. and a lot of students become a victim of our confidence um i used to not give mocks a lot before uh, like i joined in june so till september october i was pretty lax you know giving one or two mocks a month i mean it's okay but then i realized it later on that the more you give mocks the more you do dry runs of what you're going to do on the d day that Uh, tells you where you stand in your preparation and it's a very honest numerical condensation of your standing that okay this is what you're getting boss you have to work harder and you have to get at least here i mean i remember having sections with mera sessions with mera sir analyzing mocks and uh, i he might remember how worked up i used to get uh, with those scores and uh, i used to ask him sir what do i do this section is you know holding me back and uh, you know talk to your mentors and uh, don't just keep your scores with yourself it's not a state secret share it so that you get feedback uh, yeah <laughs> i would say that like, so, uh, how many uh, mocks did you give uh well a uh, clat mocks or like overall clat clat mocks i might have given more than 55 60 55 mocks that's that's good very less people give that much of mocks and there's one more thing uh, like you have made it to the finest b school so any tips for a juniors how to reach that finest b school uh, sorry finest law school well finest law school i mean you just have to um, tell yourself that you have the acumen to make it there uh, i mean uh, a lot of people and even virat sir might know that bangalore was never really my you know my dream is such i mean i knew that if i get marks i'm going to bangalore but i always wanted to go to delhi as such because you know uh, i was under the impression that when you go to delhi you implicitly uh, prepare for civil services and you know uh, since that is that is one of the things that i'm considering right now so i really wanted to go to delhi uh, but then i do not regret for a moment right now uh because bangalore is the best you can get and i can say that right now because i am in the university and i'm attending their classes as well so always keep your goals i fortunately my goal was delhi and i got bangalore but you know you prepare for bangalore from the very beginning is what i can tell you because it's absolutely worth the effort in fact i remember a couple of days ago the discussions which we had I tried my best to convince you to get into Bangalore. Absolutely, yeah. Like three days ago, 
I remember I came back uh, to Pune uh, from Mumbai on Saturday this Saturday Sunday I got my preference I accepted my admission Sunday Monday 10 am my college started so uh, I mean I hope future aspirants get some breathing space uh, after covid uh, but you know be prepared for uh, what is thrust upon you and work hard so uh, finally manlar the the initial uh, goal you have already achieved your 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 uh, i can't say a short term goal also a shorter to a short term goal so uh, what next after 5 years in in bangalore what next are you planning um well after 5 years i i really don't know where i'm going to see myself but if my initial plan works out i'd like to give a shot at the civil services um because uh, you know that is what i want to go in as a kid especially the foreign services uh, diplomacy and uh, a lot of that i am being prepared for at the university i think itself because the hard work that is required for civil services that is ensured by the trimester pattern because we have to submit like four class papers every semester and we have to uh, work to the bone uh, to to accomplish that in time and plus the extra curriculars are also uh, an attractive thing so you don't want to miss on that either so i think that is that hopefully prepares me for my future endeavors and you know i hope i is at uh, law school <laughs> definitely your dreams would would be fulfilled and and and, and your hard work like it it gave good colors in your current position and it would definitely flourish in the future also in fact before we ended up a final note to our current 2022 and 23 students for the preparation final tips final tips yes i would like to say one thing for sure that uh, there is a myth that first generation lawyers don't get that much of an exposure to get it to the top but let me tell you yesterday i had a call with all my batchmates at nlsiu bangalore and i asked the question on the floor that who here is a first generation law student let me tell you 70 to 75% students raised their hands so that just tells you that it law is a uh, vehicle for social mobility and if you have faith in yourself if you um, have an honest preparation strategy and most importantly i would uh, like to tell all aspirants and my seniors have also told me this at the university that the most important thing a thing uh, that gets you where you want to be uh, especially concerning law is keep being yourself is being what you are because uh, there are a lot of first years who want to be harvey specter in the first semester of their law school i would just like to say this is a very unrealistic notion to be so because being yourself is the only thing that you know reorients your whole preparation and keeps you on the track and also revise your preparation um, uh, time to time uh, i remember i made a whole document uh, you know i used to revise that document every 10 15 odd days and i used to constantly revise my strategy because circumstances used to change and uh, i remember one week before clat i was giving my board exam because my college decided to wake up and tell us that listen boss this is the week that you're giving your board exam in uh, i finished my boards on 16th or 17th july and i said okay my boards are done let me focus on clat now so uh, five odd days i studied very hard for clat the last mile as and now let's ace it so there are going to be a lot of things thrust upon you so you just have to maintain that equilibrium of mind calmness and the last thing that i think i would like to say is uh, maintaining your sanity because that is absolutely important before the d day because i have seen myself my own friends and some of the guys i know who had been doing really good at mocks acing all clat mocks cl mocks and doing not so good on the d day because their mental state was not so good so the, the the two hours that you have on the test center are the only thing that law schools are going to look at not the number of mocks you're giving or the scores that you got in the past so uh, i remember what i did before my flat mock is that i went and i meditated i didn't do anything for the last day i mean i obviously revised but i do, didn't do anything strenuous two days before the exam because i took it very lightly i used to meditate a lot i used to exercise a lot 
and that maintained my sanity and uh, i remember cl came out with this whole gk compilation of every mock there was and i made sure that i gave that so that was the only thing i did for the last two days and then i just you know showed up at the center uh, and sat calmly uh, and you know did what i prepared for and the results are there in front of you yes sir it was great great it was a great effort uh, marlad it's your hard work and your dedication towards achieving that goal which ended up in the current position which you are into so yes. from our end uh, all the best for your future endeavors uh, uh, make us proud it's still a long way to go right it's just the beginning of it and we are sure that uh, sky is the limit for you thank you sir all the future. best for you and have a wonderful future thank you sir thank you sir okay and do connect with us whenever necessary we are always available and even we would get connected to you if we need any any news of nlsu bangalore okay. yes sir it's a very vibrant university i'll keep updating you about it yeah <laughs> okay so thank you thank you very much for this and have a wonderful evening today yes sir i hope my juniors also i see my juniors in the next batch so yeah. uh, send a lot of people next time <laughs> you will get a chance to meet your juniors also <laughs> soon <laughs> soon you have a chance to interact with them in a couple One, of days couple of days nice nice i look forward to that definitely oh. okay okay balar bye bye bye